I am hot and sweaty from getting the carriers all ready and set out for you, but they are down here and they're somewhat organized and Grace is just using them like a, uh, some sort of thing to just walk around on, which is giving me major anxiety, but yeah. Um, all right, I'm kind of overwhelmed because I didn't realize I had this many carriers. Um, I am a collector, right? So I use carriers daily and I use them for different purposes. So a lot of times I don't even realize how many I have because I'll get one and it'll go either in my car or in my shelf down here or upstairs when I need it upstairs or in my room. I, there's a lot of different places that I keep these. So seeing them all together is pretty overwhelming. All right. So, here we are, my baby carrier stash. Um, wow, this is a long time coming. I have been baby wearing Grace for two years, and um, I started wearing her pretty much right out of the womb. I had a Moby wrap, and then a Solly wrap, and a Happy Baby wrap. Those are bamboo and cotton and stretchy material wraps, and they're great for newborns, especially when they're born in the summer like Grace was. Um, so, she was born in the spring, but whatever. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, and then I graduated to, I actually started with soft structure carriers first. So that's the Tulas that you see here, these buckle carriers. That's called a soft structure carrier. I actually used those before I used woven wraps. Now a woven wrap is this. Um, and these are so soft. I really wish I would have worn Grace in these more. I started wearing her in woven wraps around six to seven months, but you guys, I am craving a newborn <laughs> to wear in these woven wraps. So yes, um, I definitely think that the, the best thing for newborns is cozy wraps, but I will say one of my favorite baby wearing brands recently, um, came out with a newborn friendly carrier which is the free to grow and this you can literally use this right out of the womb a lot of times my husband will want to wear our kids well, our one kid we just have one um and he doesn't know how to do it especially wrapping so um the buckle carriers are nice and foolproof and same for grandparents and any other caretakers so yeah anyway okay so let's get started um i kind of showed you guys a full picture already but here they are proud. i've collected these carriers for two years and it's been a good two years um, and i plan to keep these until i stop having children and i'm going to use them with all my kids so yeah um but i've been using them with grace for two years okay here we go so the three baby wearing brands that i'm featuring today this is which is really what I shop. Um, everyone has their preference, but I use um, Tula Baby Carriers. That is my number one pick. I love their, um, their, I love their, let's see, how do I even start? I love their founder, Ula. She is literally one of the sweetest, most endearing people that I've ever seen. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting her face to face yet, but um, I am really obsessed with her. I think she's a great person and she's in a wonderful example to me as an entrepreneur and as a mother and as a business owner. I just, I just think she's amazing. So Ula is the founder of Tula and she's also the CEO and the owner and all that jazz. Um, so Tula is the first one. The second is Pavo. Um, I really like Pavo textiles. They only Usually, they, they typically they only um, produce wraps. I think that they've produced ring slings in the past and maybe even some soft structure carriers, but I've never used them. I just use Pavo uh, woven wraps. Um, so I have quite a few of those um, and in my wrap stash. And then I think that's it. I have one other type of carrier, which I really liked for Grace. Um, I got it because it was leopard and Tula didn't have a leopard carrier at that point. So I got it, but it's a kinder pack. So I'll show that to you too. Um, and then really quick before we get into this, <laughs> I'm gonna do a little overview of the types of carriers. Okay, so the first type of carrier that I'm going to feature is a soft structured carrier. So this is what I mean when I say soft structured carrier or buckle carrier. 
Sorry, I had to throw Daniel Tiger on for Grace. But yeah, they have buckles. And a lot of times, there are several different materials. So we'll go through that. The second type of carrier I'm going to show you is a ring sling. And I really love this. I worked with my friend the other day and, and kind of showed her how to use a ring sling with her three-month-old. So this is a ring sling. And it goes over your shoulder like this. And then you wear baby in the front and the rings are right here and you tighten and loosen and anyway I'll link a few of my baby wearing videos I have a couple of different carries that I can show you with my woven wraps and then I also have a ring sling video that's really old and I need to update but who has time for that not me um, so yeah I have ring slings I have woven wraps so a woven wrap is just a big blanket basically although it's skinny um, and sometimes we're gonna get really complicated now. Ready? This is mainly how a carrier starts, just a wrap, right? And then the wrap is turned into either a ring sling, so it's converted, that's what we call it, and they sew it to have the ring stuck in there. And it's a shorter piece of fabric. This is threaded through the rings, so you can't see how long it is. But yeah, it's a smaller piece of woven wrap, right? So that's a ring sling made from a wrap. And then sometimes wraps are made into buckle carriers, which is super cool. So they're converted into buckle carriers. And so this is wrap, it's very soft. Um, now this buckle carrier, and this buckle carrier are not the same. Super confusing, don't worry. Um, I'll explain it. So this is canvas material. This is very canvassy. And it's still soft, but it's made from canvas. And these retail for $159 on Baby Tula's website. I'll leave a link below. This is also very soft, but this is a woven wrap material. This is actually, oh goodness, I don't know if this is made of tensile or not. I, I know that different wraps are made of different things, like some of them are 100% cotton, some of them are made from tensile um, cotton blend. It really just depends. There's like hemp wraps, there's bamboo wraps, there's all kinds of wraps. So most of mine are tensile, cotton, twill, and um, canvas. So, yeah, I hope you guys don't have any questions. If you do, ask me and I will like make more videos because I could seriously talk about this stuff all day. Um, so yeah, those are the types of carriers I have. And those are the types of soft structure carriers that they make. And yeah, so I'm gonna start just showing you the types of um, carriers. So for those of you that are familiar with Tula, you are going to recognize a lot of these, right? Um, Lord help me with remembering these names. I seriously used to be so good at remembering all of the names and then they came out with so many carriers and I was like, yay, Tula carriers, but I totally forgot all of their names and I'm like, can't keep track of all of the names. So um, yeah. I'll start with the first one I ever got, you guys. My first Tula, this is Bliss Bouquet. <sighs> She's a beauty. Um, she has the prints on the front and then the gray canvas on the back. And I'm not gonna show you guys how to use this. I'll do a separate video on how to use these if you are curious. But yeah, this is just a what's in my stash video. So here we go, Bliss Bouquet. She was number one, she'll always be number one. Fun fact, this is not the original one that I first got. I actually sold it and then bought it again because I was like, I miss Bliss Bouquet. She is meant for me and Grace. So here we go, Bliss Bouquet. And while we were on the floral train, I will share with you my other floral carriers that are all Tula. And this is Flora Blue. Isn't she gorgeous? So this is also backed on gray canvas and then the print is right here. The hood that comes with it is gray. And I just absolutely love this print. I think it's gorgeous. 
Um, and yeah, I, I seriously sought after this carrier for quite a while and I finally found one. I forgot to mention that Tula's come in a few different sizes. So yeah, there's a standard Tula, there's a toddler Tula, and then there's a free to grow Tula. So there's three sizes. Um, these you, you use an insert with when you have a newborn, but the free to grow you don't need an insert. So that's why they did that. Super exciting. This is Juliet. She is beautiful. I've had her for quite a while. She's one of my lifelong favorites. Um, she's backed on black canvas. A lot of Tula fans say they don't like black canvas carriers. I personally don't mind them. I feel like um, they say that a lot of stuff shows, but you know what? No one's looking at the back side of your carrier. I honestly, it doesn't bother me at all. So this free to grow is my other floral. I have four florals. And like I said, this can carry a newborn. It has three different settings. And I'll link to my video where I opened this. So, and, um, this is printed all over so if you look at the difference this is just printed on the panel right here and the rest is gray canvas but the free to grow has the prints all over it and then is backed on a navy canvas with a colored hood which is super cool so this is um free to grow blossom is the name of the carrier so she's a beauty and i just love how grace fits in it even as a toddler it's also great for newborns so I know I've said that a million times. All right, we're continuing on the canvas train. Still Tula's, still soft structured carriers. And this is a coast carrier. Um, this is actually has a, it actually has a panel of mesh. So it's very breathable for the summer. We're pretty much warm year round. We don't live in snow, so I can use this year round. And I love this carrier. I love the pink and yeah. This is, oh my goodness, see here is where I forget the names. Um, Mariner? Yeah, I don't know. This is the Coast Tula though, it's beautiful. Okay, so my last two canvas carriers are both fully printed uh, carriers. So they have the print all over rather than the print just rather than the print just being on the panel part and not on the arms or the bot the waist strap. So these are fully printed. This is actually a toddler size, you guys. So the panel right here is much wider. Um, so yeah, this is Beacon, and I really love this carrier specifically because Tula gave a portion of the funds from this um, to childhood cancer research. Childhood cancer research. And it was really important to me to own this Tula. I love the yellow. It's bright and sunshiny. And yeah, this is a fully printed toddler canvas. I have two toddler Tulas, that's it. And um, this is number one. Okay, and then this is my last, yeah. My last canvas Tula carrier. This is called Wild Hearts and it still has a tag on it because I am filming a video with it soon and I just have not broken it out yet. I have one that looks super similar to this and I just have not had the time to take this guy out. The printed canvas, it's a standard and it's a beauty. I love it. So um, yeah, here is Wild Hearts. So I showed you most of my Tulas. I have three left, and these are actually um, wrap conversions. That is a common word in the Tula world. A wrap conversion is actually just a, like I said, a woven wrap turned into a buckle carrier. So I have had a lot of wrap conversions, like a lot. I'll have to share some pictures um, in a little slideshow or something to kind of explain how many I have owned. Like I said in my Insta stories the other day, I had a hobby of buying, selling, and trading baby carriers, specifically Tula wrap conversions. So I've had a ton. Um, and yeah, so this is what is here now. Um, this is called Cameo Azul Pacific. Pacifico version 2. <laughs> There's like four different carriers, two versions of each one, but this is designed by Miyu, which is a, um, a company from the Midwest owned by two sisters who are really great. And um, yeah, so Miyu designed this and then Tula and I think Girasol um, actually 
uh, produced it. So yeah, it's super soft. I love it. Um, it's one of my signature carriers now, I feel like. And I just love the muted colors, but it's still happy and wonderful. And then this is my go-to. This is Love Noir. Um, I have owned this in a standard, a toddler, another standard. <laughs> I've bought and sold this a couple times. I really, really, really love Love Noir. It is a tensile blend, and I'm telling you guys, this is one of the softest carriers I've ever owned in my life. And I have it in a toddler because when Grace outgrew, and when I say outgrew, she did not outgrow the carrier. It was really just like, I'm like, I have to have this one forever, so I'm gonna get a bigger size. And that way my husband can use it when I have another baby someday. And I like that it's masculine looking for him and um, it's soft. So we're gonna keep this one forever. I love it. Um, so yeah, Love Noir Tensile Blend, the best ever. I love it. All right, so, and the last Tula that I own right now, so that makes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten soft structured Tulas. Those are buckle carriers. Um, and that is a hand woven. So this wrap was actually woven by hand. All of the rest were woven by machine. Um, so this was woven by hand, like by a weaver on like a, a special weaving machine. And this is a um, Spectrum hand woven and it's actually called Sweet Pea, which is my nickname from childhood. So it's really cool that I, that the baby carrier has the same nickname or same name as I did when I was a kid. And it's super soft. It's backed on purple canvas. And these are actually what we call fancy tulas. It's a little bit more pricey than the wrap conversions. I forgot to mention that um, the standard canvas tulas retail for $159. The wrap conversions typically retail, if they're a full, which means it's the whole carrier, this is a half because it's backed on canvas. So the full wrap conversions, they retail for $360 if they're standards and 380 if they're toddlers. Sometimes there's an exception if it's a special like weaver or something. And then the fancy chulas, they retail for around six to $700. It really just depends on the type um, and the weaver and all that. So this is Sweet Pea and she is just beautiful. Um, so I think she's definitely perma stash. <laughs> That's what we call it when we're keeping it forever. Um, so yeah, those are all of my soft structured tulas. I have one other structured carrier in my stash and the rest of them are just tulas. Um, and that is the Kinder Pack. And I got this because I loved how it was um, leopard print. And it also has mesh in the middle, which is pretty cool. But yeah, this is a Kinder Pack. I don't know if you can see it, yeah. So this is actually a company based out of St. Louis, I think. And it's just a a mom or someone, some really nice lady. Um, but yeah, so this is really cool because you can you can adjust the width of the seat, which is nice. And I really liked these suck, suck pads, which is what we call them, suck pads or drool pads, and they protect the arms of the carrier for when your baby is teething and likes to chew on the carrier, which happens. <laughs> Grace has lots of little teeth marks on this. It's really special. So yeah. That's the only other soft structured carrier I have. I do prefer Tula's because they are just my carrier of choice, but this Kinder Pack was pretty nice. Uh, I think Shula has a, a leopard carrier out now. Um, I think it's called Charlie. I really loved that and I wanted it, but I didn't snag one. It was like a special shop exclusive. So anyway, okay. So those are the soft structured carriers. Um, and now I'm gonna get into the ring slings. These are the two ring slings that I own. I've owned mm, maybe eight to 10 different ring slings, but I only have two right now because my baby is bigger and the soft structure carriers and the woven wraps work a little bit better for her. Um, all of my ring slings, except for my Pavo one that I had a while ago, are hearts. So this is um, Love Montaigne. 
I think that's how you say it. I am so bad with some of these names. I think they're pretty much, I'm pretty sure they're like French or something, but I'm not very good with them. So this is Love Montine. It is tensile, tensile and cotton blend. It's a Tula ring sling and it is super soft, you guys. This is a blanket. It is, I swear, this thing is the softest thing ever. Um, so it's tan and white hearts or tan and cream. And it's, a, it's an extra large um, size. So that is my one ring sling. And then my second ring sling that I have is Love Sonye. I used to have this in a soft structured carrier and then I sold it to one of my really good friends, Jamie. And she has it now and sometimes I miss it, but I'm so glad that she's enjoying it <laughs> because she totally deserved it. It was her first wrap conversion. So anyway, this is my second ring sling. Um, and I just love how it has the pink and purple um, print or uh, coloring. It's super cool. So lastly, I'm going to share my woven wraps with you and then we're done. Oh, okay. Well, this is my first woven wrap. It wasn't my first one ever, but, um, it is a Tula woven wrap and I love this print. I cannot remember what it's called. Um, but it has mermaids on it and it's great for summer. It's 100% cotton, so it's super airy. And I love it. It needs some more breaking in, so I need another baby to wrap. <laughs> so I can break it in some more. Um, but yeah, this is number one. Um, number two is a wrap that I've had for a really long time. This is a Pavo wrap. Um, all of the rest of these are Pavo wraps, by the way. Um, and this is called um, blush hearts. It's like an older um, type of hearts. They have a new hearts uh, print out now, but this is an older one and I think it's 100% cotton and it is great. Um, I love it. It's light and airy, but still supportive. And yeah, is who can beat pink and white hearts? Nobody. So pink and white hearts. Um, oh yeah, and this is a size six. Sorry, I'll tell you the sizes if you're well versed with wraps. Size six, size six. Um, this is, I'll show these together because they're similar. These are both called Otomis. These are Pavo wraps and Otomi is the name. Um, this, I've owned this wrap in four color way, color ways. I owned it in yellow, which is Otomi Sunshine. I owned it in Fuchsia, which is Otomi Fuchsia. Um, and I also have, oh my gosh, I don't remember what this one's called though. Otomi... I don't know. Anyway, the red one. It's amazing. I kept it. It's a size six. I could have sold it, but I didn't want to because I just love it too much. Um, I love the little critters and this actually has a really great texture. This is like a raised texture right here. I don't know if you can see it, but um, this wrap is amazing. It's super light and airy and it has a little bit of stretch to it. You can see it's kind of spongy almost. I'm super bad with wrap qualities though, so wrap friends that are watching this, don't judge because I'm horrible with wrap qualities. Um, and then this is Otomi Magnolia, and this is probably permastache, not gonna lie to you. I just love the white, it's perfect for summer. Um, I'm not scared to use it with Grace, like you can always wash a wrap, you guys. Don't be afraid of white. Um, I love a good neutral, but look at how stretchy that woven wrap is. Um, and this is, oh my goodness, and it also has that same texture. It's like a creamy white, if you can see it. Anyway, so yeah, this is a size five wrap. And these two right here, this is, um, Ferrand is the name of the wrap. It's also a pavo, and it is very thick. This thing is a beast. Uh, they call it the toddler wrangler, the toddler prison. Um, this is a size four, I think, three or four. I want to say four, maybe three. I think it's a size three. Um, and I do a rock carry in this with Grace and on my back doesn't even hurt. It's pretty great. Um, So yeah, um, I am pretty into this Pavo wrap. And then um, 
This is Tippy Spearmint. This comes in a few colorways. I love the critters on it, the birds. Um, it's super cute. And this is a minty color. It's also a size, I think it's a size six, but it's pretty short, so I call it a long five. Um, and I just really love how light and airy it is. It's similar to Otomi in wrap quality. So that is that. And then I have two left. This is Filigree. Once upon a time, I owned her in a ring sling. She is absolutely beautiful, you guys. I mean, it does not get better than filigree. It just doesn't. She's gorgeous. Um, and this is a, it looks like lace. I mean, this wrap is cushy, spongy, supportive. It's like an ace bandage almost. Um, and I love how this feels in a double hammock. Um, I wouldn't really use this for a rock, but anyway. Um, so yeah, this is a size 6 filigree, and I've had her for a while. I paid a pretty penny for her back when she was worth a lot of money, market value, and now she's not worth as much, so she is staying forever. And last but not least, this is my last, my most recent Pavo wrap. And I got it today in anticipation of more children because someday I'm going to have another kid. <laughs> I'm actually like really struggling with it though because I... It's hard. Toddlerhood is hard. Grace is amazing and she's a sweetie, but she is definitely learning about her emotions and, and just really developing in that area. So as a teacher, I'm happy, but I'm also like, how do I do this? <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway, this is meal. And I really hope I'm saying that right, because if I'm not, then everyone in the Pablo world is gonna totally judge me. Um, you guys, I haven't wrapped this with this yet, but I seriously, I'm gonna go wrap with it right now. I seriously wanna cry thinking about how beautiful this is. This is Natty Meal, and it comes in another colorway too, like a navy, but this. So this is all of the carriers that I have in my baby wearing stash. There is a ton of them. Um, I didn't count them because who cares. Um, Tula does make blankets too, and I'll take a picture or kind of show those to you later on, but this is just the baby carrier version. So if you guys have any questions or you're curious about baby wearing or you want to know more about these carriers or more about these brands, I would love to talk with you about it. Um, definitely email me, um, direct message me. Uh, PM me on Facebook, anything. Like, seriously, talk to me about baby wearing because, seriously, talk to me about baby wearing because I'm obsessed with it and I'm like talking too fast now because that's how obsessed I am. Um, yeah, I just had such a good time sharing these with you and I want to talk about them more. So, let me know what you thought about this in the comments below. And if you have a baby wearing stash, I want to see it. So, you should tag me on your baby wearing photos on Instagram and maybe just use the hashtag like hashtag living in color baby wearing or something. I know it's long, but that's what I use when I post on Instagram. So I'd love to see other moms who are wearing their babies or other caregivers that are wearing their babies um, kind of use that hashtag so I can look and, and see and comment on your photos and look at your baby carriers. Um, so yeah. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and you guys, I absolutely love sharing this life with you and this motherhood thing with you, so um, yeah, if you like this video, be sure to click a thumbs up and share it if you want to. I would love that. Um, you can visit my blog, livingincolorblog.com, um, for more baby wearing tips and tricks, and please subscribe to my channel if you guys really enjoyed this. My baby carriers and I thank you and I hope you have an amazing day. We'll see you next time. <laughs>